Ever wondered how powerful our subconscious mind could be? Could it hold the key to transform our lives? Now that's a question worth pondering. You see, our subconscious mind is like a secret door. Behind it lies a vast reservoir of our thoughts, beliefs, and experiences. It's continually at work shaping our reality, often without our conscious awareness. Imagine for a moment your mind as an iceberg. The visible part above water represents your conscious mind, but the larger hidden portion underwater is your subconscious. It's the powerhouse that directs the course of your life. It's where your beliefs reside, and these beliefs, my friends, shape your reality. The beauty of it all is that this subconscious mind can be reprogrammed. It's like unlocking a secret door to personal transformation. We can cultivate a life filled with love, gratitude, and abundance. The power to change lies within your own mind. It's time to harness that power. Thoughts are more than just fleeting ideas. They are energy in motion, creating our reality. Imagine your thoughts as paintbrushes, and the canvas is your life. Every stroke, every color you choose shapes the masterpiece that is your reality. But what happens when the thoughts we repeatedly entertain are not quite the colors we want in our lives? What if they're shades of self-doubt, fear, or negativity? These repetitive thoughts, whether they are beautiful or destructive, are like the well-trodden paths in a forest. The more frequently we walk down them, the clearer and more defined they become. And before we know it, these paths become our default roots, shaping our beliefs and, ultimately, our lives. But here's the challenge. These repetitive thoughts, especially the negative ones about self-worth or love, are often so deeply ingrained that we don't even realize we're walking down these paths. They become an automatic part of our journey, dictating our direction even when we'd rather explore new terrains. So how do we step off these beaten paths and venture into new landscapes? It starts with recognition. By shining a light on these automatic thoughts, we can begin to see them for what they really are. Habitual patterns, not absolute truths. Now this isn't a comfortable process. These paths, after all, have been our default routes for a long time. But change rarely happens in the comfort zone. It's in the moments of discomfort, of questioning and challenging our ingrained beliefs, that we can start to carve out new paths in our mental forest. Remember, the power of thought is not just about the ability to think, but also the courage to rethink. It's about recognizing that our thoughts are not static, they're dynamic. They can change, evolve, and grow just as we do. And as we reshape our thoughts, we reshape our reality. After all, our lives are not just the result of the paths we've walked down, but also the ones we've dared to create. To reshape our reality, we must first reshape our thoughts. Our brains work in a fascinating way. They wire together nerve cells that fire together. This principle is at the heart of our understanding of how beliefs form in the human mind. It's like this. Whenever we entertain a thought, it's not just a fleeting idea passing through our mind. It's a spark of energy, triggering a dance of nerve cells in our brain. The more we entertain the same thought, the more those nerve cells fire together, and as a result, they wire together. This process creates a neural network, a pathway in our brain that becomes stronger and more established each time we think that thought. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Once a neural network is strong enough, the thought it represents doesn't stay a simple thought anymore. It becomes an automatic, subconscious belief. This is how our brains turn repetitive thoughts into deep-seated beliefs without us even realizing it. These subconscious beliefs then become the directors of our lives. They dictate our choices, guide our behaviors, shape our experiences, and color our emotions. Whether we believe we are worthy or unworthy, loved or unloved, successful or unsuccessful, these beliefs have the power to shape our reality. But what if our subconscious beliefs are not serving us? What if they are based on negative thoughts, creating a reality we don't want? This is where the importance of awareness comes in. To change our reality, we must become acutely aware of our subconscious beliefs. We must recognize the thoughts we've been entertaining repetitively, especially the negative ones. We must challenge the neural networks we've been fortifying unknowingly. It's not an easy task, for sure. Our brains are creatures of habit, and they resist change. But remember, awareness is the first step to transformation. Once we are aware of our subconscious beliefs and how they are shaping our reality, we can start to challenge them. 
we can start to rewire our brains, form new neural networks, and create new beliefs that serve us better. Change begins with challenging our unconscious beliefs. It's a journey of transformation that starts within the fascinating world of our own minds. To initiate change, we need to identify our unconscious thoughts and behaviors. This is the first step in our journey towards personal transformation. These unconscious thoughts, often negative and destructive, have been ruling our lives for far too long. We may not even realize they exist, but they're there, silently dictating our choices and experiences. So how do we identify these elusive unconscious thoughts? It's all about becoming an observer. Pay attention to your reactions, your emotions, your triggers. What makes you feel uncomfortable, defensive, or upset? These reactions are often signs of deeply ingrained beliefs that are not serving you. Once you've identified these unconscious thoughts and behaviors, the next step is to familiarize yourself with them. This may sound counterproductive, but it's not. Familiarity breeds understanding. The more you understand these thoughts, the less power they have over you. They can no longer control you subconsciously because you're now aware of them and can challenge them consciously. Now that you're familiar with your unconscious thoughts, it's time to consciously decide what new thoughts you want to nurture. This is where the magic happens. You see, a belief is essentially a thought you keep thinking. So if you start focusing intentionally on new empowering thoughts, you're essentially creating new beliefs. These new beliefs will begin to reshape your reality. But how do we focus on these new thoughts? It's all about repetition and reinforcement. Repeat these new thoughts to yourself as often as possible. Write them down, say them out loud, meditate on them. The more you reinforce these thoughts, the stronger they become and the more they become a part of you. This process of consciously choosing and nurturing new thoughts is how you rewire your brain. And remember, rewiring your brain is not a one-time event. It's a continuous process that requires dedication, patience, and self-love. But the rewards are immeasurable. So let's recap. To initiate change, you need to identify your unconscious thoughts, familiarize yourself with them, and then consciously choose and nurture new empowering thoughts. Change is a conscious decision. How would it feel to be worthy of love, gratitude, and abundance? Can we cultivate these feelings proactively? The answer is a resounding yes, and the process is known as emotional reconditioning. Emotional reconditioning is about shifting our emotional state proactively, rather than waiting for external circumstances to trigger our feelings. It's about asking ourselves how it would feel to live a life filled with love, gratitude, and abundance, and then fostering these emotions within us. This shift in emotional state signals our body that it is living in a new reality, even before our environment reflects this change. In essence, we're training our bodies to live in the future we desire. The role of meditation in this transformation is crucial. Meditation is a practice of becoming deeply familiar with our current self and the self we aspire to be. It's about cultivating the feelings of our desired future, reinforcing the belief that we're already experiencing it. Imagine that you're sitting in a peaceful place, allowing your mind to become calm and clear. You visualize your future self, the one filled with love, gratitude, and abundance. You feel the emotions associated with this future self. This practice is not just a mental exercise, but an emotional one. It's about feeling the future now, in the present moment. But meditation is not just about visualizing our desired future. It's also about mental rehearsal, imagining how we would act in different situations. This is a way to prime our brain to respond in new ways, aligning our behaviors with our intentions. For example, if you're working on becoming more patient, you could mentally rehearse a situation where your patience is tested. Imagine yourself responding with calm and patience. This mental rehearsal helps to build new neural networks paving the way for actual behavior change. So, if you're on a journey of personal transformation, remember that emotional reconditioning and meditation are powerful tools at your disposal. They can help you cultivate the feelings associated with your desired future and prime your brain to act in alignment with your new reality. Meditation is a key tool in reshaping our reality. This method is so potent that it can induce biological changes in your body. With consistent practice, you're not only transforming your mindset, but also signaling to your genes that they're living in a new reality. This is truly conditioning your body to a new mind. 
It's a fascinating process that goes beyond mere belief. In fact, within a short span, such as a week, you might even notice significant metabolic and biological changes. This is your body believing it's living in the new reality you've cultivated. But remember, transformation is not a one-time event, it's a cycle. With every new piece of knowledge, we form new thoughts. These thoughts lead to new choices and behaviors. Our fresh experiences then evoke new emotions, reinforcing our desire to continue this journey. It's a cycle that keeps us evolving, growing, and becoming better. Embrace the cycle of change and unlock the power of your subconscious mind.